East Rangeman Jack Callaghan will be heading off to Albion Park this Saturday night where he has three outstanding drives on the card. Caught up with Jack to discuss their prospects and also his thoughts on the performances of Hi, My Name is Jeff since resuming from a spell. Yeah, good to catch up. Before we have a look at Albion Park on Saturday night as their winter carnival starts to gain momentum. Hi, my name is Jeff. Back from a spell, he's taking out the JD Watts and the Golden Mile. Tough, tenacious effort in scoring on Saturday night. Yeah, they've both been good wins back from a spell and uh, his horse that goes pretty good fresh. So um, I think he'll just have a freshen up now straight into the Sunshine Sprint. Jack, you started to get busy on him about 200 metres from home. Hot and treacherous, his stable mate, who is an outstanding horse in his own right. Did it ever concern you over the final stages? Uh, not really. I could feel he was still travelling on my back, but uh, you know, once he come off, Jeff gave me the impression that he wasn't going to let him pass, and you know, he held on to a narrow margin. From my name is my name is Jeff to Swayze, another outstanding performer for Jason Grimson. Of course, third in the Inter Dominion in December behind Leap to Fame. He's had two runs back, both successful. Yeah, he's come back in great order. He obviously had a pretty long break after the Inter Dominion and. Um, he had a pretty big year last year, so it uh, was good for him to have a good break. And, um, you know, it's an honour to be able to jump on him this week. He's drawn gate five in the field of seven for the lucky Creed. No doubt you'll be looking for the lead role. Yeah, it, it, he expects so. He, he's kind of, you know, got plenty of respect now. He'll set out some strong fractions in front, so you expect him to lead. Probably his main danger is a horse you know very well. Can't find a better man for Luke McCarthy coming off a solid win at Albion Park last week. Yeah, he's been really good. His two runs up there, he uh, was second behind Leap to Fame and, and won really well um, last start. And I think in between he had a standing start that didn't go right, so you could forget about it as well. So he's in great form and it you know, won't be an easy race for him. The Daryl Alexander Trotting Championships always a wonderful series named in honour of such an outstanding contributor to harness racing. Royal Dan off a 20 metre handicap, his first official stand start. Yeah, that's right. We qualified him last here last Wednesday and he stepped well. So, uh, you know, just looked to get him away safely his first race start under lights and things like that. But he, he should be competitive. Jake, he won through on the trot, then finished a gallon third behind London to a brick and Caligula. What do you think of the run? I thought it was good without probably being great. Um, probably wasn't as good as some of his wins, but uh, it was a bit of a change for him as well, coming off a helmet. And, um, you know, they still went really good time and got beat by two really good horses. And he was probably, you know, still fighting, coming back to him on the line. So I'll, I'll, probably it wasn't one of his best runs, but I don't think it was by far one of his worst either. Yeah, he's been breaking their hearts of late with those tearaway tactics. Yeah, he has. Once he can get out in front and roll along, he, he takes a lot of running down. Jake, you would think if he steps and does everything right, he is the class runner of that field. Yeah, it looks like way on paper, but um, you know it's a bit of a change for him. First in and start, and you know, big field with a lot of horses in front of him, so he'll have his work cut out. But he, he should be hard to beat. Eleven races on the card, and probably one of the better races on the uh, program is the final event for the mares. You're going around with Tay Tay, and no doubt all concerned with this particular mare. Glad to see her back in the winner's circle. Yeah, for sure, she's come back really good. Um, just with each run under Jace, she's got better and better. And um, I thought her last start second was, you know, really good. So I'm uh, really confident with how she'll go on Sunday. Yeah, that was behind the Brit and exciting RDs Express, and no doubt. Despite the fact that it's Ebony's in the race, it's, it's going to be a very keenly contested event. Yeah, as you'd expect, an open mare's worth 20000 up there. Um, you know, they're not on all, all the time and, um, you know, it's a good field, but uh, I expect her to be really hard to beat. Do you see yourself coming out with Toto? Yeah, she's got really good gate speed, so I'd, I'd say it would head forward with her class. Everything going according to plan. Jack, you've got three drives that look like gritting the judge. Yeah, well, it looks that way on paper, but it's not always that easy. And, you know, all horses are travelling up this week, so hopefully they get up there safe and sound and healthy and show up on the best on Sunday. No doubt you'll give them every possible chance, Jack. Thanks for your time. No worries, thank you.